Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Butts coming to you with a tutorial on how to do the stroke effect in Adobe After Effects. Now, um, before I do this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, iCustom GFX, or I'll put his link in the description. He made this uh, pretty cool background for me. Didn't even ask him, so that's awesome. Um, so let's go to our settings, and I'll show you what. Or let's go to the internet, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Alright, so um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make this white line go around the guy like that. And, yeah. Okay, so let's just uh, get on started. So let's go into After Effects and um, just create a new project here. Sorry, I'm not feeling the greatest yet quite right now. Um, so I'll just import a yeah, random file here. Uh, I'm going to... Up there. Had a pretty intense uh, triple wall bang and hardcore headquarters here. Pissed my pants for about an hour. Alright, let's just find a good place. Like, alright, right here. Here's a good place. Alright, um, okay, so what you're gonna wanna do to uh, make the actual stroke is, um, you're gonna wanna go to new. Are actually first uh, to like really make sure that um, like if you saw in the kill cam thing, if I still have it open, eh, like if you saw in the kill cam thing, I like slowed down the clip a lot so that like um, I, it, it was positive that the thing would stay with it because I mean if you have it with regular speed, it's probably gonna the lines probably not gonna match up with it the whole time. So um, I'm gonna just add some Twixter quick. So, um, actually, I'll add Twixter to this. Effect, Twixter Pro. Alright, um, let's go like right here. 59.94. 94. Um, I'm sure you guys can find other Twixter tutorials, so I'm just gonna go through and do this pretty quick. Um, I'll put control, speed, move over like one frame. Turn it to like point one. So now it goes really slow for the rest of the clip. Like it won't even freaking move like that. All right. So that that'll ensure that like the stroke would work. Okay. All right. So um, let's do the actual stroke now. So um, you're gonna go on a, after you've done your twister, or if you're even gonna bother doing that, you're gonna go to new uh, adjustment layer. And then you're gonna select the pen tool and draw around where you want it to go. So um we'll get it like this. Just uh, I'm just gonna have it go like around the M40. Go like right here. Let's see if we can get a curve on this. Hmm. How? There we go. All right, let's put one here and bring it down that that. Okay, so I'll just keep outlining the M40 here. So uh, yeah, my desktop background it's pretty sick. It's uh, made by the Aloha HD, and his backup channel is iCustom GFX. Uh, that's what he put on. My uh, that's what I, that's what he put on the desktop. I think. Let me go check. Yeah, he put I custom D F X. All right. So I'm just outlining the M40 right now. And um, if you're doing this fight, you don't necessarily have to outline a gun or anything. And what the hell? Woo! It's like twisted and such. Oh, that looks silly. All right. Uh, let's just finish this outline here. Alright, you get the dude here, we'll just go around his hand. And then you want to make it like a little bit out so the stroke isn't necessarily on the edge. So I'll move it like that, and then we'll move this one here like that. Okay, so there we go. So now what you want to do is, um, thanks, dead. Alright, now uh, right click and go to effect, uh, generate, and stroke. So now if we uh, select our clip, you can already see that there's like a, um, a fine edge around it. 
And um, I encourage you guys to do a much better job at masking than I did. And yeah. So um, if we look at it here now, um, just like the adjustment layer. And um, you can like bump the brush size up to like seven or so. And um, so now it looks a little bit better. It's still kind of a garbagey uh, job. But so now I'll just show you guys how to uh, keyframe it. And uh, for one for the episode, I think I changed the color of it at one point because I used this effect a couple times. <clears throat> All right. So um, now I'll show you how to keyframe it. So if you look at this here, um, if you change the like start and end points, um, you can like if let's bump it down to 80 or so. So now 20% of it from here is gone. So um, you can basically keyframe it from wherever you want. So I, um, if you go like tw 20 from like 20 from the start, that means that basically 20% of that will be gone. So um, if we say go like 75 from here and like 30 from here, we can key keyframe it so it's pretty much all gone. So, um, yeah, let's see here, let's just set them back to the way they were, 0 and 100, so we'll just keyframe the 100 one to 0, so, um, we'll just click the, uh, end button here, um, move forward a couple frames, like, eh, like, like that, and then change it down to 100 like that, uh, change it down to 0 like that. So, um, that's basically it for this tutorial. Please remember to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and, um, I'll play it through, too. And let's zoom in a bit here. Alright, and if we, uh, hit play here, it'll probably go pretty, it'll probably play pretty, I only keep, I only made it so it's, like, five frames, so it might go a bit fast. And my computer's lagging like a, mo like a mo right now. So if you look at it from like here, mm, I can zoom in a bit on the timeline here. It's kind of small. <coughs> Alright, so if we just play it from here, it's kind of laggy, but um, you'll be able to see it come through in a sec. Let's move the frame up to here. There. <coughs> now you should be able to see it like uh, start moving a bit. So, um, yeah, right about here. Yeah, but it's, it just comes around like that. And um, in the actual video thing, it will be a lot smoother. So um, thanks for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.